Yeah. Numero you and know me and Jersey did like the Super Bowl, man. It, then it big as the big as the what? Big as the what? Big as the what? Big as the Super Bowl. What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, your boy's going over how to be OP with Caliban. Now Caliban, I don't see a lot of players using this guy, but he is, he is, uh, he's something else. He was one of the newest, or one of the latest Warframes that they added to the roster. So, uh, we're going down the list. If you guys want to check out my previous videos, I made guides. With the first row so far and we're just going to go down the list so yeah caliban you got the sentient warframe this dude uh i always grade the warframes based off of how they're op in three different categories so we have the first category where they're just a broken warframe so you're chilling all their abilities are busted you know and then if you add weapons with that warframe you're just doing damage then you have the second category where they have uh where they're they're weapon based um and then the third category is that they have enemy manipulation so they can alter the battlefield in some type of way meaning like how old school grindo was able to eat enemies from a distance you know and dump them out over the cliff or you have uh, Limbo with his uh, stasis move, freezing enemies in place. But for Caliban, he fits right in the, oh, yeah, he fits in the enemy manipulation category. So he is strong, he can armor strip, but for the most part, he can uh, distract the enemies to make sure that you can deal damage with your weapons. We have Razor Geyer or Jerry. I'm gonna say Geyer. But you basically become a spinning vortex where you hold R2 to spin and then if you tap R2 at an enemy you can teleport or uh, dash towards them. It's pretty fast and you do deal slash damage so if you want to add strength mods you can kind of utilize this move probably with a, a melee version of Caliban. Then you have Sentient Wrath. This one is the one that's important because you can make uh, the enemies more weaker to your weapons. So you, it's more of an AOE ability, as you can see when the enemies float in the air, they take more damage. So increasing strength mods will increase how much damage vulnerability goes up. Then you have Lethal Progeny. Now this is the bread and butter of Caliban when it comes to using him for Steel Path. You just call on your sentient buddies and they uh, repair your shields so they provide longevity for your, your Warframe. Then we have his fourth, where I like to call them their ultimates, which is Fusion Strike. And this one armor strips uh, the enemy. To get him, you need to you need to have completed the new war. So if we go over here to our codex, and you check out the quest section, you have the new war. Normally they might have prerequisites, like they'll say complete the junction on Pluto, or complete another type of um, story quest so make sure you complete those prerequisites dive into the new war once you complete that mission you will get access to Caliban I think they gift you his blueprint and then all right so when it's nighttime just like Eidolons the the Narmer bounties will appear so unfortunately right now for me is daytime but usually when you go to the uh, other planet it's the opposite time zone so it might be nighttime on earth but the sad thing is that so nighttime on fortuna for their norm request and daytime on cetus for the norm request um they're important because you want to farm his blueprints you can also go to the market to purchase caliban uh blueprint in case the quest didn't give it to you right here you got the norm request 
so you can see if I click R3 you got Caliban system is in here uh, you have Narmer Isoplast which is an important resource uh, resource that you're going to need to craft uh, Caliban's parts you can see doing these bounties also drop some of the breath of the Autolon now the parts we went over the Isoplast Anomaly shards, I have a guide going over that where you just technically do a mission on um, You go to your rail jack Then you see you back out you go to the veil proxima you go to the mission that's blinking red You do this mission you go on the sentient ship with the para parasysis With that, you know the sentient blade uh, You take that with you you destroy the crystal. There's a lot of other ways to get anomaly shards, but um, this one also drops that as well. Neuro sensors, you can get those on Jupiter. The Trelock eyes, I think, those you get from the daytime fish on Cetus. Or if you do the tat, the Tusk Thumper, then if you want to figure out how to get the Mortis Horn, gain from carving or, you know, cutting out from the Lungfish. And then the Nexamon, that one is a resource that you can get from, um, going to gary mead on jupiter now unfortunately as of right now caliban doesn't have a prime version yet so we're dealing with only his original which is okay because he's still good but when the prime drops i will let you know how to farm him most likely it's the same three missions that you do yeah so for caliban you're gonna want to um him lift an ability so his sentients are good at distracting so if you want to do invest more into strength you can I just don't think it distracts the enemies enough with just the sentience. You can even add some Archon shards if you want. But for the Hemleth ability, I do recommend Resonator, which you can get from sacrificing Octavia. Resonator can add a little bit of a distraction for the enemies, making Caliban technically invisible. And you guys know how invisible frames are literally broken, because that is also a form of enemy manipulation. Um, the build that I'm using is this. I know it's not fully complete, that's why it's, it's to show you he's still good even if you're not going in with crazy builds. So I have, you know, Boros Hatred. I try to get my strength up as high as I can, um, as well as my duration to make sure that I can have enough time between finding energy and using my moves. And then for my Arcanes, I have Molt Vigor to get that extra boost and ability strength, as well as Arcane Arachne which this is good for your weapons because he is going to be needing to you're going to have to take a weapon with a good ribbon to make use of caliban in this case we're taking the tenant archiplasmor um but yeah that is the build then we're going to go ahead and hop right in oh yeah one also one key pointer is taking the zeneri clan for your operator slash drifter you want to make sure you can um get energy constantly in case you don't have the uh energy orbs dropping as much as you want to but if you have arcane energize you know you can sacrifice smoke vigor i believe and just slap that one on there but we're going to mod survival on steel path i see a lot of people going to kuva going to the kuva fortress but nah Ma, ma is where it is i do have a mod that makes me invisible when i hack so i do apologize All right, so here they come. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this spot right here. Oh God, of course. So I'm gonna throw out Resonator, summon my three buddies, and then I can, you know, just make them more weaker. But I wanna make sure the damage is coming from my weapons. And my abilities are only meant for distractions. I do that kind of occasionally to make sure that energy is always coming in from using the Zeneri clan. So remember, duration affects how long your moves are out, so you got to keep an eye out on how long your sentience are on.
so far we're chilling if we want to add a little bit of extra damage i can go ahead and activate that arcane arachne and then the, the numbers the numbers are going up oh my resonator is out i'm gonna do an extra bit of damage throwing that fourth in there oh we're reloading but yeah this is caliban let me know how you guys like them and if this uh, build was working for you guys if you have any questions or if you guys are also curious um, or not curious have builds of your own uh, feel free to drop them down I have a discord uh, link in the description below in case you guys want to join the squad and chat up with a bunch of other fellow tenos but yeah I just wanted to show you guys how to be broken with your boy Caliban um, I'll be dropping future videos going down the list so if you guys are waiting if you guys are trying to figure out how to be strong with the current warframe you're using don't worry i'll have a, i'll get to that warframe soon eventually but thank you guys for watching you guys keep up the grind and i'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>